So how, how did, I don't know whether you were involved in the marketing distribution, how, how did Norwich Eaton get the word out about this drug? Was there a sales force? Was no, there it? was not a sales force. <laughs> yeah. There was just a, uh, uh, advertisement and, uh, and uh, making the drug available uh, on, a, on a need basis, so to speak. You know, there, there, was, there was no, no rationale hmm. for, uh, even, even though everybody recognized it was useful, it was still viewed as a very, very minor product because uh, there, was, there was a, you know, a long list of other things that were more important right. than dantrim IV for uh, malignant hyperthermia. Well, I guess it was uh, fortuitous that in 1981, um, the Malignant Hypothermia Association got its start. Right. And what happened after that, the association uh, was started, one of the things that uh, we decided to do was to go to the American Society of Anesthesiologists meeting, have a, a scientific booth, and talk to people about malignant hypothermia. And of course, if we were going to do that, we were going to talk about uh, dantrolene. Mm -hmm. Not that MHAUS had any connection at the time with, uh, with, with Norwich Eaton, um, but you know, we obviously, as an organization, we're talking about awareness of MH and also awareness of the, the treatment for malignant hypothermia. So that was a fortuitous uh, coincidence that uh, those two kind of, kind of came together and that's how once it was introduced you know, and people started to hear about it uh, at, at, this, at these national meetings, I think the word began to, to spread a little bit more and by that time there were any number of case reports coming out from around the world and, and some studies in animals and uh, certainly uh, in humans uh, as well. Uh, I remember when, when we, when we got, first had approval, uh, I would go out with Mary uh, Kolb and make presentations about dantrium, IV and so forth, and then Mary would uh, add on the clinical piece of uh, the results to date, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And we probably did a couple of dozen uh, of those kind of presentations with audiences that were very small to very large. Right. And, it was, and that, kind of sp that kind of spread, as you described here, uh, through the uh, various talk pieces within the various journals. Yeah, well, I, I remember uh, the second international workshop on malignant hypothermia was held in Denver, Colorado in about 1976, 1977. And I distinctly remember the announcement about the publication in the British Journal of Anesthesia about dantrium and its effectiveness, you know, in treating MH in the pigs. And uh, there was, at that time, at that meeting, uh, a large group of people, large, maybe 40 people, who were interested in MH, and of mm -hmm. course, they they began to spread the word uh, there also.